It's Saturday, Stockman Stampede, started by Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. And today what I have to show you is this Marbles Stockman. And one thing that's really nice about this is it's in D2 tool steel. So this has much better edge retention than your typical offerings with your True Sharp or your 440 series stainless steels and your typical carbon steels that these knives use. So the D2 is really nice in a traditional knife and it's about top of the line as far as I'm concerned in blade steels for traditionals. It's got a beautiful clip point blade. It's a sow belly. You can see the curve in here. And one thing that is nice about this knife, it's about the size of a medium stockman, but the blades are quite a bit taller and more substantial than a typical medium stockman. So this has closer to full size blades. You also have your sheep's foot. One thing I do like is you can see it's on that downward angle. So as you're cutting, that blade is on a downward angle and it traps material in here. I really like that feature in a knife. And these sow bellies do that. Then lastly, you have your spade blade. And this one really can'ts down. So that one that's where the you have the bigger curve on the sow belly, you have more cant in it, so that really traps material. It makes these small blades more useful because things don't just slide off of them. So that's um to me this is a combination of do I want to call it a spade blade or a pen blade? So very useful knife. Much better than a medium stockman. Single threaded bolsters. Black micarta covers. Let's see how it's put together. You can keep the camera in focus. As you can see, this one is put together pretty pretty nicely. Another thing that's amazing on this one is there's no blade rub. As you can see, there's gap all around each of the blades. And that's pretty amazing in the, um, in the Stockman with two springs where two of the blades share one space to not have any rubbing. So again, if we take a look on the blades, Look on the inside, you'll see no signs of rubbing. So usually you see some rubbing on one side of the sheep's foot blade. There's nothing on this one. And on the spade blade. In order not to have rubbing, you do have to be a little bit careful, especially how the spade blade is pulled out because as you grab a hold of the nail nicks, course you flex the blades a little bit so you can if you push too hard you can make rubbing happen but overall this is an excellent knife and these are only something like $15 these are really cheap so to be able to get a knife like this in D2 tool steel that's put together this well it's an incredible deal I would carry this any day over a case knife that you would pay $60 for the same knife this is just a killer deal and a very, very nice stockman. We'll see you next time.